Okay, thank you for all your inputs regarding the Tonga volcano, aka nuclear detonation. I just learned that um, Tonga is going to go away from uh, the US dollar to um, Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So that might be a little warning shot over the bow. You do as we say, or we will deal with you. Now, the funny thing is, I have here an image. I am uh, subscribing to something called Earth Sky. Here is the volcano eruption <laughs> seen from the side. Now, does that look like a volcanic eruption to you? No. This is exactly the signature of a nuclear detonation, especially when you look at the stem. You see these fanning out here? This is a very often occurrence when you have a nuclear detonation. You see it here, it hangs down like that. Looks like a palm tree. That's what nuclear detonations are doing. So I was absolutely right. This is a nuclear detonation that set off a volcano. So, the funny thing is, the incredible power of yesterday's eruption, detonation, of the Tonka volcano reverberated around the world. Uh-huh, okay. If it re reverberated around the world, as said, we're talking about a nuclear detonation, not a volcano. Because if this reverberate around the world, this will be the largest volcanic eruption known to mankind for all times. Satellites in space captures uh, action even before the eruption started. Of course, they were conveniently, or should we just say, they were just happened to be there at the exact right time when this took place. No, they wanted footage of their dirty deed. That's why we got these pictures we got, or images, videos. So, showing the island sinking, and then later, mushroom cloud. Yeah, exactly. You were using the exact same word, mushroom cloud, and pressure waves expanding outwards. Approximately 200,000 lightning strikes even struck near Tonga in the first hour of the eruption. Well, I believe that. Nuclear bombs do that too. Oh, yeah. People as far away as Australia and across the ocean in Alaska, Canada heard the sonic boom. Yeah. And, you know... Nuclear detonation, as I said in my other video, my first one about this, is that a nuclear detonation has the loudest, loudest sound you can possibly imagine. And it's moving with the speed of sound. And there's so much pressure behind it, yeah, it will fly around and it will be heard in many places. So it says here barometers, that is what is measuring the uh, air pressure, you know, high pressure, low pressure, around the world, such as this one in Switzerland, recorded the pressure wave from the South Pacific. Now we're talking, and I mean 10,000 miles away, people, at least. Okay? And their barometers, their pressure term, uh, measuring instruments caught this. I don't think so. I I'm sorry. This is BS. I don't know what to say else than this, because what is there to say? This don't brought me anything, pretty much. But a country up in the Alps, over 10,000 miles away, caught this. That's not a volcanic eruption. It cannot be. It's impossible especially when it's an underwater explosion. And 
now that they caught this in Switzerland, they say, I wonder what the aftermath of this nuclear detonation at Tonga is going to be. Either it is a warning shot to um, maybe the world, maybe Tonga specifically, but why would they go to such great length when they got other means that they can punish a population for not submitting to their new world order. And I don't think anybody should submit to the new world order. And if you're not caught up, I just say to last man standing, give them hell. Don't ever stand down. Don't ever give up. No matter how hopeless it seems. They don't own you. It's your temple. They don't have any right over your temple. None. So this is interesting, wouldn't you say? They happen to have a satellite placed exactly above the epicenter. At the right time, it has the signature and the expansion speed as a nuclear detonation. And now we're seeing it from the side. And there is no question in my mind what this is. This is a nuclear bomb. There's no question. You can see it right there. And you get it again, as I said in my other video. Go on a search, nuclear detonations. Look at the images. Just follow it closely. You only have to watch a couple of 10 most powerful nuclear bombs or something like that. And you will see this. Exactly this. This might be the ash, but this, that's the nuclear bomb, the fingerprint, right there. But why? We need to keep an eye out, we need to look into that, and if anybody has some serious information, not BS, I don't care for that. Let me know. Let me know. Over and out. God bless you.